Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. Um, you can get fun in boxing at all levels, right? And, you know, we, we can marvel at the technical side of things and pay homage to the, you know, the great slicksters. But let's be honest, we like a fight, don't we? And so if someone is low level or if they just have a crude style, they can be a lot of entertainment. You know, they, they can be very entertaining, very entertaining. And one such person is uh, heavyweight Richard Torres Jr. Now, he had a good amateur career. Um, he was a silver medalist in the 2021 Olympics, I think. Uh, he's from the US. But he doesn't fight like it. He doesn't fight like a guy who who has any kind of schooling. I mean, I wouldn't say he does he does things bad, but at the same time, he's he's he stands square on a lot. He fires huge punches. He's not particularly big for a heavyweight at all. He's only 23. Um, and he's, he's six six foot two, roughly. Not a big heavyweight at all by today's standards. But this guy, uh, he likes a row. He likes a row. And he had this fight with a guy who apparently, called James Bryant. Apparently he's an ex-football player and he looks like a football player. Uh, he turned up wearing shorts, not trunks, and a big, muscular, powerful-looking guy. Didn't really know how to fight at all. Um, and interestingly, this guy, this guy uh, James Bryant, is 37 years old. And uh, in 2010, he had five fights, uh, I think, and he won four of them. Uh, I, I looked this up on Box. So I've never heard of the guy before. Um, and then he then he had a nine nine year break. I don't know why. Maybe went back to playing football. I don't know. Um, and then he came back and he's lost his last two fights by KO, uh, in t October, was it October, I think 2022, he lost in two rounds to a guy called, undefeated guy called Sonny Conto. And sure enough, he got stopped, uh, in one round, well, actually he retired after one round against Richard Torres Jr. And this guy, Torres Jr., I mean, he just, he had, he had the guy on the floor, he had, um, uh, Brian on the floor with a big uppercut right at the end of the first round and Brian got up and just couldn't recover and in the corner they pulled him out it was the right decision but let's make no mistake about it Richard Torres Jr is a lot of fun to watch and you would love to see him in there with Alan Babich that would be a great fight because this guy at Southpaw comes out winging punches um he stands square on. I mean, for a guy with a silver medal at the Olympics, you'd expect more technique, more... You'd expect more defence. But this guy's like, no hell with that. I'm going to just get stuck in. And against people like James Bryant, who really can't fight at all, yeah, he's going to... He's going to look good and he's going to look uh, like a lot of fun. When he moves up through the ranks, nah, he'll get found out. But enjoy him while he's here because he is a... It's entertaining to watch. He's... He's got this mop of black hair and a moustache. And he kind of looks like, you know, a journeyman from the 80s or a gatekeeper from the 80s, like a David Bay type, you know. Um, I don't see him going through the ranks. I don't see him going up to high level. But he is only 22. So who knows? Who knows? Maybe maybe he can make a splash. I don't know. I uh, wish him all the best. As for Mr. James Bryant, he should retire from boxing, go back to football, or just you know, do something different, mate. Because you, you can't, you can't box. Maybe you can fight on the street, but in the ring, it's a lonely place. It's not street fighting. So, did you see this fight? If so, have you seen Richard Torres Jr. before? A lot of fun. Put him in with Alan Babich. I know Babich has supposedly, or apparently, reportedly, got this uh, fight for the vacant Bridgeweight title which has been vacated by uh, Oscar Rivas. Um, but win or lose, I want to see Babich against Richard Torres Jr. because that would be a lot of fun. Not particularly high level, but a lot of fun. Um, let me know if you've seen this guy fight, what you think of him. Leave your comments below. And of course, thanks for your time. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. I'd appreciate that. And like the video, that helps us out as well. Thank you very much. We'll speak again soon and bye for now.